connect them to having just lost on their home court on Friday night. What was it about that intensity, though, that maybe you guys weren't able to match or that gave them the upper hand, especially early in the first half? I mean, yeah, he's right. I mean, it's tough to beat um, the same team uh, two in a row uh, in this league. But I think, you know, they came out ready. You know, I think, you know, uh, second half, uh, we came out with uh, lots of energy and we did a, a really good job uh, matching that energy. But um, I feel like we just need to uh, start the game like that. You know, just I think the first half, uh, we all need to do a, a better job to just go on out there and just focus on what we need to uh, focus on. Next question is coming from Aaron Ventress with the Oregonian. You've been in this league a while now. Um, was there anything about Curry early on in his de- with his demeanor, his, his facial expressions that led you to believe that this guy was coming out for blood? I mean, he, he was on his own. You know, obviously we try to do everything. I mean, he just he made uh, 62 points. I mean, what can you do? I mean, some of the shots, you know, we watched it in, uh, uh, in halftime and uh, and. Uh, after the game was just wild. It was uh, crazy, but you know he makes those shots. Um, uh, I mean, it just there was the tough shots. But you know what? What can he do? Just um, he's the only one. Uh, he's one of the only one uh, that can make those shots. So when that happens in a game like that, is is there do your head? Is it a combination of damn it, he's doing this to us? But wow, look what he's doing! Like appreciation, also frustration. Not appreciation. Obviously, you put you playing against them uh, obviously it's not fun but like you just you know I just need to just go out there and obviously do a, a better job just you know just I guess I don't, I don't know I don't know what can you do so thanks I'm Dr. AJ McCord with coin six the other thing Dane mentioned is just what you guys learned about each other on this road trip and in these tough losses that there's no pointing fingers. It's just, you know, slapping each other on the hand and saying, all right, move on to the next one. You've been a part of a lot of teams that have gone very deep into the playoffs, including this one a few years ago. How defining are those smaller things after a loss, even this early in the season? Um, I mean, he's right, man. I'm, I'll just say this, you know, it's like this team. I mean, we all basketball players. We're gonna go out there and play basketball. I think for, for us to get to the uh, next level is uh, chemistry. And when you have like, uh, you know, leaders like Dame, CJ, Melo, just game becoming just very easy, you know? And I just, uh, I'm saying this over and over again. And I think, you know, um, it's not talking about, they don't uh, talk about enough, but I, I think Dame is the, uh, you know, the best leader in this game. Next question is coming from Jamie Hudson with NBC Sports Northwest. Dennis, how would you say the extra chippiness and also the foul trouble, how did those two things play a factor in this one? Um, a lot, obviously, you know, I just, I'm not gonna blame the refs or I'm not gonna uh, make any excuses, uh, but you know, yeah, Kyrgios shot 19 uh, free throws. So I don't wanna get fined or anything. I'm just, uh, just putting it out there, but, um, I guess we just need to do a, a better job, not fouling. That's what I will say. I want to, you know, uh, save my money.